Step 1. It's prep time. New Core Performance is a floating floor and features a simple locking installation. In most cases, New Core Performance doesn't need time to acclimate to the temperature of the room, meaning you can buy and install it on the same day. New Core Performance is so stable, you can install in virtually any room in the home, even sunrooms. Now, gather your tools. You'll need the basics, including a rubber mallet, spacing wedges, tapping block, and a saw. Step 2. Prior to the installation, make sure the subfloor is clean, dry, and level, and ensure that all other subfloor requirements specified in the installation instructions are met. New Core Performance has a pre-attached natural cork underlayment and can be installed over most subfloors or existing floors. Using a 6 mil polyfilm moisture barrier over concrete subfloors or Sentinel Protect Plus underlayment on any substrate is recommended and warranted for residential applications. Do not install over carpet or any other underlayment as they are not warranted. Step 3. Open the cartons and read the instructions carefully. To achieve the most natural look, be sure to mix planks from at least three different boxes together. If your planks have multiple widths, be sure that every other row is a medium-sized plank. Installations can be as much as 10,000 square feet before a transition molding is needed, but you will need transitions at doorways where your floor type is changing, or on steps or step-downs. Dimensionally stable planks enable seamless installation throughout the home without T-molding speed bumps in doorways or in large rooms running through the middle of the floor. Start by laying the first plank of new core performance in the left-hand corner of the room with the tongue side facing the wall using half-inch spacers against the wall. Insert the next plank at a 30-degree angle and then lay it down. Tap the end joints down into place and repeat to finish the first row. Measure the length of the last plank to fit and use a saw or a laminate cutter to cut the planks to size. When installing, make sure to include a half inch expansion gap in your measurements for all cuts around the room and under any transition moldings. Step four, start the second row with the leftover plank from the previous row. The leftover plank should be no less than 12 inches. Otherwise, a full plank should be cut in half to start a new row. Continue by inserting the long side of the next plank into the previous row at a 30-degree angle. Drop and gently tap down the plank end joints with a rubber mallet. Make sure the planks are perfectly aligned and all joints are tightly fitted together. Gently tap the rows together using a tapping block to eliminate all gaps between any of the long sides and make sure the end joints are firmly locked on the short side so that both planks are at the same height. End joints should always be staggered at least 8 inches apart from the previous row. Move on to installing the next row. Step 5. Measure the last row using a loose plank. Lay it on top of the previous row. Then lay another plank on top, tongue facing the wall, and make sure to include a half inch gap for expansion then draw a line on which to start. Insert these cut planks against the wall and remove the spacers. Finally, install moldings to cover expansion gaps along walls. Clean your new floor using a broom, vacuum, wet mop, jet mop, or even a residential steam mop. Enjoy a job well done and look forward to enjoying your beautiful, extremely durable, 100% waterproof Nucor Performance Floor. Nucor Performance, exclusively at Floor & Decor.